Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to our series on using the Hamiltonian economics. In this video, we're going to talk about the current value Hamiltonian, which is just a transformation of the present value Hamiltonian, which is what we've been using in the previous two videos. We're going to get into it now. Let's go. So this is our example one. Now we're going to suppose we have the following continuous time growth problem, right? In a Ramsey cast Koopman set up and our task is to use the current value Hamiltonian, right? This is just a transformation of our regular present value Hamiltonian, which is what we were using in the previous two videos. And we're going to derive the Euler equation from that. So to solve this problem, step number one, we're going to note our modified Lagrangian and identify the present value Hamiltonian. Step number two is that we're going to multiply everything in our present value equation by E raised to the power of rho T to obtain our current value Hamiltonian. Step number three is that we're going to take our first order conditions of our current value Hamiltonian. Step number four is that we're going to take the logs and differentiate with respect to time, the problem that is not a differential equation. And step number five is that we're going to solve for our Euler equation. So like before, um, we're going to note our modified Lagrangian. Now, this isn't a important step here, like we said before, but it's a way to go and think about problems because we want to go and get those good first order conditions here. We can go and rewrite this modified Lagrangian as follows, where we have J here, right, which is, you know, just the name of the Lagrangian is equal to script H minus lambda t times k dot, right, which is our law of motion, or, right, it could be one of these two alternatives, j is equal to h plus lambda t dot times kt, where this h term is referred to as our Hamiltonian. Sometimes we just like to write our Hamiltonian, right, we just skip the steps and just write our first order conditions. However, here I want to be explicit because I want to know what changes in our first order conditions once we go and take them. So step number two is that we're going to multiply everything in our present value Lagrangians by E raised to the power of rho T in order to identify our current value Hamiltonians. Now we just go and have this J hat here, right? Which is just going to be our regular Lagrangians times E raised to the power of rho T. So here we have our uh, direct uh, instantaneous utility functions plus our new multipliers that we go and we have. And for this term here at the end, this is the only novel part that we go and we have, is that we're gonna have to take the derivative with respect to this whole new uh, multiplier. And this new multiplier being uh, mu t, which is gonna be equal to e raised to the power of rho t times lambda t. Now there, um, we get the following two uh, cases where we go and we have just something that is familiar from before, or we have this other option down here, right? And the reason why we have that there is just from uh, thinking about what the derivative of this thing here is. We have to think about what that is. And we note that we can simplify these Lagrangians uh, down to this process where we have this one part being our Hamiltonian and this other part being this multiplier bit that we go and have. So H hat here, that is just going to be our current value Hamiltonian. So for step number three is that we're gonna take our first order conditions of this. And this is just what we have uh, in these two equations here. Uh, step number four is that we're gonna take the logs and differentiate with respect to time the first order condition that is not a differential equation. So we're going to first rearrange uh, this guy here. And um, if we take the natural logs of this and take the derivatives with respect to time, we go and we get the following result. And step number five is that we're going to take this equation and we're going to solve for our Euler equation, which is as follows in this boxed red down here. So, um, this is how we use the current value uh, Hamiltonian. And it really depends on uh, the problem that we're going and looking at. And really what I want you guys to take away from this whole exercise is that um, 
we can get the same sort of results from the current value Hamiltonian as we can from the present value Hamiltonian, just that sometimes it's easier to use one over the other, and we should be fluent in both of these methods. So I hope this video helps. Take care.